Thank you for joining us here again on Pray TV. Today we're going to look at a verse of scripture that is taken from Mark chapter 6. In fact, it's two verses from 30 to 32 in the New Living Translation of the Bible. And as we read this, I'm going to give you the context just a little bit after we finish reading these two verses of scripture. It says, the apostles returned to Jesus from their ministry tour, and they told him all they had done and taught. Then Jesus said, let's go off by ourselves to a quiet place and rest a while. He said this because they were, there were so many people coming and going that Jesus and his apostles didn't even have time to eat. So they left by boat for a quiet place where they could be alone. I, I think this is really important for us to get this into a context because if we look at this con context wise, we can see that this was all on the heels of John the Baptist being killed, his head on a platter being requested by a woman and, and the king giving and granting that permission for this horrible act to take place. And so it's in that context and the press of the crowds and people wanting the attention of Jesus and the apostles, them being out on a missions tour and out preaching and doing all kinds of miracles and there were healings and deliverances that were taking place and people, of course, coming to know the Lordship of Jesus Christ. But it's in that context that we see this story unfolds. Now, when they got in the boat, and they went over to the other side to where they thought it would be quiet and peaceful and a secluded place. The, the people heard about the fact that Jesus was going by boat across the Sea of Galilee. And they ran around the edges and they met him there. And there were thousands of people that were there. So Jesus really didn't get that break that he really wanted and desired to have. But we do know that he didn't live all the time in the press of the crowd. And that's an important fact for us to be keeping our awareness on. I'm going to read this portion of scripture one more time and then we're going to pray into this because there may be pressures in your life. I know here in the Boston area, people get started so early. I know that if we want to make it into Boston without horrible traffic, we have to leave before 6 a.m. And we have to drive the 25 miles from Salem down into the heart of Boston to be able to be here. And if we're, gonna, if we're not going to stop and start and just be crawling along the highway, we have to leave that early. And, and you know, we, we go late at night many times and there's all kinds of activities and lots of pressures in life. And wherever you live, I'm sure it's the same. But I want us to focus on these words of Jesus where he invited his disciples, his apostles to be able to get away with him. And we need that. We actually have to build it into our schedules or it doesn't happen. So I'm going to read it one more time and then I want for you and I to pray in agreement that with intentionality we are going to take time of quiet to just be with the Lord. This portion again is taken from Mark chapter 6 verses 30 through 32 in the New Living Translation. It says the apostles returned to Jesus from their ministry tour and they told him all they had done and taught. Then Jesus said, let's go off by ourselves to a quiet place and rest a while. And he said this because there were so many people coming and going that Jesus and his apostles didn't even have time to eat. So they left by boat for a quiet place where they could be alone. We're going to pray now. Heavenly Father, you want quiet places with us. 
you want places where we are not overwhelmed with responsibilities, with duties. We're not overwhelmed with entertainment. We're not pressed in with news and threatening thoughts of what's going on in the world. You said, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, and you will find rest for your souls. And so, Lord, it is in that spirit of invitation we say, yes, we want to go there with you. We want to be quieted in our souls. We want to be refreshed in our spirits. We want to be able to have a place of stillness. Lord, you have always used the symbol of still waters as a place of refreshing. And so, God, I pray for those who actually have the opportunity, as, as I often do, to be able to go and be able to look over the ocean or look over the waters and be able to see a sunrise or be able to experience that quiet space, that quiet place. Wherever it is for you, my friend, you need to find it and you need to go there and press into God, but not in that sense of urgency, in that sense of quiet confidence. Oh, Jesus, we love to be alone with you. We love to be in your presence. We have learned that that is the place where we drink of the living waters, where our souls find deep levels of contentment. Holy Spirit of God, we ask that you would just minister to us your refreshment this very hour. I pray that each and every one of you, that we together as intercessors, could find the nourishment that we need, even as we are bearing the burden of the intercessor's work, of standing in the gap, of praying for our nations, of being able to believe for the unsaved to come to the knowledge of Christ, praying for the outpouring of your Holy Spirit, Lord. Father, in the midst of that, we do it not from an anxious posture, but we do it from a place of quiet because you have called us to come away with you and to experience a quiet place of rest. Bless us as we go there today. Bless your people as intentionally each of us choose to live in that posture and that place before you. We pray all of these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. <laughs>